Good afternoon. I'm out here today with the mayors of uh, Neptune Atlantic in Jacksonville Beach to give an update on the hurricane. Uh, briefly, I just want to mention COVID-19 update. Uh, as I said a couple of days ago, uh, it appears to be a, a, a plateau. Uh, hospitals are stable, which means you're not seeing rapid increases in hospitalizations. Uh, you're seeing slight dips even in some. Our daily positive rate is uh, last couple of days been around 7%. So that's a positive development. I encourage people to stay the course, wear masks in public, uh, wash your hands, and stay away from uh, large unnecessary crowds. Our emergency preparedness teams have been working hard to ensure that your city is ready as we monitor this hurricane. Forecast trends today are edging the track to the west near our offshore of our coastline. As a result, we are currently under a tropical storm watch. This means we do have the potential for high winds, heavy rains, and high waters on the coast and low-lying areas along the river and tri 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 tributaries. Last time we had a news briefing, I said we'd check in with any major developments. The only development since our last meeting is that this storm continues to threaten our area. We do not at this time expect significant impacts at this moment. But of course, that could change as we were updated by the National Weather Service this morning with a slight shift to the west. Currently, the projection has movement seems slightly in our favor. While there's a little bit of optimism here, we can't stay complacent. We must be prepared. And this is also a reminder for all of us as we've been navigating COVID-19 that we are in hurricane season. The city and our emergency personnel will continue to work at the Emergency Operations Center to monitor and track the storm and any potential impacts to, to our region until the storm has passed. At this time, there are no expected changes regarding emergency declarations or evacuations. We have not declared a local state of emergency or an evacuation. Any changes to this will be influenced in the next 12 to 24 hours with information provided by weather experts. If decisions are made on evacuations, uh, and because we're in hurricane season, people should just be ready. This is a good time to know your zone. Go to the Jack's Ready app and understand where your zone is. Uh, we will be able to quick, prepared and able to quickly engage multiple shelter locations that adhere to COVID-19 guidelines, should that be necessary this time or some point later in the season. Citizens with special needs are asked to register with our emergency preparedness teams at coj.net backslash special medical needs or 630 city. Thanks to all our partners at the state and federal level, National Guard, National Weather Service, Department of Homeland Security, FEMA, U.S. Coast Guard, State of Florida Emergency Management, Duval County Health Department, and Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and to our local partners at Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, Jacksonville Fire Rescue, Transportation Authority, Jacksport, and our Aviation Authority, and thanks to all of our local media uh, for covering this update. So let's be prepared. Stay tuned to local media so you know what's happening. With that, I'll bring up Mayor Latham. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you for being here today to help share information with the community. We appreciate it. Uh, Jacksonville Beach has taken the necessary precautions to, uh, for the first stages of storm preps, uh, pumping down a lot of uh, reservoirs and retention ponds, things of that nature. And also, Beaches Energy will be posting uh, three uh, standby crews uh, starting tonight at midnight in the event there's any loss of power due to wind damage or anything of that nature. Uh, Mayor Curry said it best, you know, it's important that we be vigilant and continue to be vigilant. We've had the opportunity now to go through this, this drill several times in the last seven years, so we've gotten pretty good at uh, responding, but we've also gotten complacent in some areas. So please be careful to be vigilant, pay attention to local media. We'll get the word out to you if we, anything changes, and uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to turn it over to uh, Mayor Brown. That's who Good afternoon. I um, have two messages. One, if you're planning on coming to the beach because it does look nice and there certainly are waves, please stay near a lifeguard. These riptides are serious. We've already had incidents out here at the beach. Stay near a lifeguard. Be very cautious. Our lifeguard force is full. We have everyone on duty. Our police force, we have everyone on duty. And we're here certainly for any emergencies. Be cautious. Be careful. The second thing I want to say is to all of you people out there, this has been a warning to see this hurricane as it's passing us so far out and more a tropical storm. But this is the year with a pandemic, 
this is a triple threat to many people and a double threat to all of us. A pandemic and a storm. Get prepared. Put that kit together. Do what they're warning you. You've always said, I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to get ready. This is the year to do it. This is the year to make sure that you know where you're going, if you have to evacuate, and to have everything on hand if you have to really hunker down. I want you to be safe. Uh, press, I thank you all for being here today. More important right now is to be prepared. We got a warning, and this is not something that we should take lightly. Take it seriously. Get prepared, and if you're coming to the beach, stay near the lifeguards. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Ellen Glasser, the mayor in Atlantic Beach. Thank you for being here today. It's a beautiful day, uh, but conditions are going to change tomorrow as this storm rolls in later in the day and early into the morning hours of Monday. It's Esai Eas. I've been practicing how to say that. Um, but uh, I, I echo what my uh, my colleagues, Mayor Curry and the other beach mayors, have said. But I want to just emphasize that that we really do operate with one voice. Um, and all the messaging is going to be consistent between the beach cities and uh, Jacksonville. That's how we've been operating uh, over time and especially over the last four months. So I want to say that experience does count. Uh, even though you see us standing up here, there are countless people behind the scenes that we rely on for the best possible information. So none of us does this alone. So. I just want to say that in Atlantic Beach, uh, we have a number of communication platforms for people to check to get information that are non-emergency, and there's always 911 if any of our residents needs anything. Uh, but we have done our best to be prepared for this event. Um, our public works team has pumped down retention ponds of up to 2 million gallons. They've cleaned the ditches, they've mowed the ditch lines. Uh, we're ready to remove any trees that are downed. And then, of course, our police department uh, and the incident management team is, is, has been stood up and is working very closely with the city of Jacksonville and their fine emergency preparedness division. So we'll have the people that we need. I do want to emphasize the, uh, the, con the dangerous surf conditions that might prevail. Um, we will have lifeguards on duty, but it will be limited. Uh, and as information uh, is learned about this event, we will be certain to share that with everyone. So again, thank you for being here and, uh, and be, be prepared. Any questions? I wonder if you or any of the beaches mayors could touch on kind of what has gone into building up the dunes, um, that the work that's gone into that. I know that's a huge part of, of readiness for this, um, especially since Matthew and Irma, the work that's gone into that. Yeah, the city of Jacksonville, in partnership with uh, these the mayors' advocacy, uh, we uh, appropriated dollars a couple years ago, yeah. and and also with the work working with our federal partners. I don't know if you want to add any specificity or. Was a full renourishment. Full renourishment. And stay away. We don't have to go through that again either. <laughs> That's right. Stay out the dunes. Mayor, are you or any of the beaches mayors considering advising any of the beaches to close, uh, beaches businesses to close tomorrow? Not at this time. No. Of course, things develop in the evening. That could change tomorrow, but right now. This is a good time for people. Know your zone. Be prepared. Again, We've been in COVID for so long, uh, it just seems to be never ending, this virus, that uh, it's consumed people's lives. Uh, this is a, Whether this event affects us or not, it looks like it could, but even if it doesn't, this is a reminder that we're in hurricane season and we've had the last four years, it's been very active. So just be prepared. And just to be clear, there's no evacuation orders or considerations at this time? Correct. No, no, no declaration of emergency at this time, no evacuation orders. There's no information at this time that points to that being necessary, but we all know if the trap changes, that could change everything tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Appreciate y'all.